Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and kittens, welcome back to the podcast. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I just, I just looked at that. This is like incredibly blue, isn't it? I mean, it just, it, it's kind of overpowering with my, with my pasty white head. But it, you know what? I, I don't think you're here to really look at me. You just kind of want to see the content. So yeah, man, look, good weekend. I hope everybody else had, uh, had a good one as well. A lot of action, a lot of action. Sunday got a little bit quiet, man. It, it kind of got sleepy. I was uh, sitting out on the sideline. I jumped in uh, last night on a few projects, and it worked out really, really well. And that's, that's kind of the rub. Is that I'm I'm just being a ghost right now, man. I'm in. I'm getting a few percent, and I and I'm getting out because it just feels like something's got to give. Uh, now I'm loving this, and, and I'm sure you're loving this as well. The the mighty Bitcoin, you know, the the founder of the feast, the one to uh, at that which uh, all others shall be measured against. Uh, as long as that's going up, man. Look, things are kind of working out here, but it's uh, <laughs> it it. It doesn't feel real to me. It, it just doesn't, man. It feels like such a fake out. Now, we know what's going to happen. We all know what's going to happen. All right. It's going to, when when the ETF comes in, it's going to pop. A lot of money's going to pour in. Hundreds of billions of dollars are probably going to pour into this and it's going to pop. But is it going to sustain? That's always the question. I mean, that is the question. We got a piece of information, man, that is incredibly valuable with one uh, inf misinformed tweet. We got an incredible piece of information that we didn't have before, meaning that we saw it with our own eyes. Now, people have been going nuts trying to speculate about it, but it, it really isn't that, man. People try to make Bitcoin something other than it is, and what it is is a speculative asset. Don't like it? Tough. All right? More people buy it than sell it. It goes up. That by And it has no real particular use, so that means it is a speculative asset. Uh, it, it's hard to say that because it's like attacking uh, technical TA people, the, the TA oracles. It's like going at them, man. People, they, this is a religion for people. They're just trying to find uh, reality in uh, where it doesn't exist. And it's fun because they can come up, well, you know, this particular token, it could be, I put the range anywhere from 20 to about $3,200. So it, it's going to be somewhere in there. Or it might be zero. It might just go to zero. I, I love that kind of, uh, <laughs> I love that kind of strength that they put into it. All right. So I'm going to be continuing on my journey of uh, of basically just scalping everything, anything that's uh, that's moving. I'm I'm going to have some money in there. Uh, I I'm not going to hit them all. Nobody hits them all. If I can hit sixty percent, that's that's all I'm looking for, man. I'm I'm looking to get six out of ten of them in. If they do, I have more money tomorrow than I did today, and that's what investing is. So what are we going for? Uh, I'm kind of staying away from Kajira. Uh, it feels like the steam is kind of let off from this one. I it was a great run. Don't get me wrong. I mean, Jesus, look at that. 30 days. That that's a beautiful chart, man. That's something that you want to be invested in. But uh I it feels like the steam is kind of letting off. So, I don't want to be anywhere really really near this and I don't want to be too close to anything that's really really tied to it. Now, white whale of all things made some nice hits on this. Uh, but it's not really carrying up all by itself. It's actually, there's a nice association that comes along with this one and Kajira. So it's being carried, carried up by sentiment. And I'm more than happy to, uh, to take that over a 24 hour period, seven and a half percent, man, loving it. Uh, I will stay in it until it settles down. And when it settles down, that's it, man, I'm out, I'm gone. Um, uh, Wawa, uh, went back in, took another, stuck my toe back in the water, Love to do it uh, for the same reason, man, is that it's just a beautiful, beautiful chart. Uh, I, I'll peel profits off, and I will continue to peel profits off from this one so my position gets smaller and smaller, my range gets wider and wider that I can stay in it and still be profitable. And I'm more than happy to let uh, influencers and all these other people carry this stuff up and do the heavy lifting for me and just allow me to profit on it. Big, big fan. Uh, let's see, what else are we into? Oh, that's a little 5K wallet. Isn't that funny? We started that wallet with $4,700 uh, about two and a half weeks ago, and that's where it's sitting right now. And I did it in such a weird way. That's that's the the rub. I made most of those gains on Juno and uh, a couple hits on uh, Wawa. And what else was I in? Oh, a cash. A cash has just been the uh, the giving tree for this but uh, i'm doing it and, and staying diverse that's that's the thing you can see the holdings here i mean we got you know dissenter that was actually my love child 
uh, Jackal, which I can't sell because I'm long on Jackal. Uh, we have a little bit of a wrap Bitcoin position. And that's funny because I have to clear that position. I, I, I know what's going to happen with Bitcoin. I have a really, really good idea what's going to happen with Bitcoin, but the kicker is that it's not going to happen for months. So I may or may not get one or two percent up down on uh, on Bitcoin, and it's such a small wallet that I need every bit of available capital going to work for me. I, I need it all in there. If I want to, ten, you know, if I want a two x, then you know, four x the wallet. I need to get the capital on the board. Uh, Bitcoin is just kind of a holder right now. Uh, put it there instead of USDC. But whatever's going to happen, it's not going to happen right away. I need more capital to get working on this particular wallet. So we're going to be clearing this stuff out. Uh, Juno is still kind of doing its thing. I, I mean, it's it's it still seems like it's on the uptick. So I'll tell you what. I'll, uh, let's just put our money where our mouth is, and we'll do it live here because I don't have a problem with that. And uh, we're going to see if we get going to get smoked on the Juno. So we'll put, uh, you know what, we'll just move it all. So everything, all the wrapped Bitcoin will go right over here to Juno. We'll go ahead and make that swap. We'll see if it continues its run. Um, 5%. That's all I'm, I'm, I'm looking for. So if this thing ticks down, Juno ticks down 5%, and one big buy will or one big sell will do that. If there's one thing we know, Juno will correct. And uh, that was the first really, really good size sell off after a uh, beautiful run on this token. But uh, I'll, I'll, I'll stick around. I'll see if we can uh, make this work. If I see a 5% dip, if for some reason that number goes from 11.6 to uh, to 6.6, I'll sell the whole position and we'll revisit it later. But it's uh, also been the giving tree for me over the last couple of weeks. I need to get capital moving on that wallet. I just absolutely have to. So uh, that's it. So you guys saw the trade. We moved it in. The other ones that I'm looking for, uh, of course, Arai has just been an absolute rock star. So I lucked into, didn't luck into it, but I started making a lot more buys on Arai, uh, but not here, not at $4. I was making the buys back here because I was swapping all of my gains into Arai. Now, I wasn't doing it to flip the token. I was doing it for, uh, let me come over here and pull up. Where the hell is that? Uh, I was doing it for one particular pool. Now, I, I don't think I have any on this wallet. Uh, I don't, uh, oh, I got a little bit. There you go. Um, no, that's the wrong wallet. It, you know, it doesn't matter. Uh, I wasn't doing it to uh, flip the token. I was doing it to get more money into that pool right there, which is just a godsend to you. For uh, You, you got to diversify. I don't like to LP anymore. LPs are just doom. But you can LP in this one uh, quite successfully, and I've been doing it for a good, good long time because of the pairing. And because of the APR and because this thing is simply a unicorn that will continue to uh, hold its value even though it shouldn't. But it, it's an absolute unicorn. So the fact that the price went up, that's just a bonus, man. But that wasn't my uh, my expectation. You know, the AI conference is going, so you're going to see Arai go. You're going to see Fetch go. I've been long in Fetch for uh, forever. So uh, I just I adore seeing that. I know four percent down. That looks bad until you look at it on the seven day, and you're like, "That's good." So we actually have a fetch validator. It, it's all my money. I don't think anybody validates with us, but uh, yeah, when you when you got you know seventy eighty grand sitting over there, uh, it, it that you didn't buy at forty cents, uh, it kind of works out really really well for you. So. Those are the ones that I, I'm in good today. Uh, those are the ones that I'm shorting. Uh, I'm pushing profits today into uh, Arai, into Bitcana. I'm doing Bitcana specifically because Bitcana is getting all of the gains and letting Adam do all of the heavy lifting. It is what it is, man. I've showed you guys these videos. You've looked at the charts yourself so that you also know. Uh, yeah, Adam does the work, but it kind of gets the benefit. Uh, I'll inch some more into a rye for that particular pool. That price is going to correct. It's not going to hold. It ain't going to the moon. It ain't going to do any of that stuff. It will correct because it always does. And uh, probably a cash. I'm going to start loading some more into a cash. Uh, it's been holding uh, at least for the last couple of days, more or less uh, flat. I still think that it's overpriced. 
at a dollar eight. I like it between uh, 82 and 92 cents. That's where I like it. So I still think it's a little bit overpriced. But if I'm buying this with other people's money, doesn't really matter the price that I'm getting in on it, right? There you go. That's my uh, reasoning. And I'm willing to see if this thing will continue to run particularly if it's not my money. Anyway, that's it, guys. Questions, comments, concerns, scottatthepodcast.com. I answer any and all. It's beggar's night tonight, so I'm going to be out Halloweening with the kid and uh, will not be live, but we'll be live on Tuesday. And that's it, guys. Until next time, please stay safe. Please be smart with your money. Cheers.